Good morning. Good morning. It's Tune In Tuesday. It is Tune In Tuesday. And normally, Jay's here with me, but this morning, I have Rob. Good morning, Rob. Morning. Morning. I know this is going to be so good this morning. So as uh, y'all are coming in, we are in our uh, we are in our respective areas. I have my coffee, and I think Rob has his cup of tea. Yep. You start off with tea in the morning. I I haven't been drinking coffee for a few months. I'm actually uh, not liking it anymore. I don't know why, but just yeah, I know. I don't know what to say. Like just... tea. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> good morning good morning donna and good morning kathleen and good morning rob so glad that you have joined us this morning yes good morning so all your i want to say the the south end has joined us now uh good morning paul and sue and good morning frida so glad that you have joined us and good morning colette <laughs> she's joining from the other room so good good morning tanya so yes we're, we hope you have your coffee this morning and as you are all coming in Good morning, Elizabeth. It is Tune In Tuesday. And so that's when we reflect back to what we talked about on Sunday. And uh, so this past Sunday, Rob shared with us. And so we would love to hear from you what you remember from Sunday. And I know uh, two things still stick in, in my mind about uh, Sunday's message. So I'd love to hear from you and what you're here or what has, has stayed with you. Good morning, uh, Melissa. We're so glad that you have joined us this morning. Yes. And so now's the time to drink some coffee. I must admit, though. OK, so yesterday was the election. I was in Kingston. I could not um, access the remote voting. I was able to get my mom to vote online, which was great. But I'm like, I have to get back to Barry to vote. I've been told, telling my congregation to vote. <laughs> I need to vote. And so I, I got here at about quarter after seven and and it turns out that they had uh, wrong information on me. <laughs> oh, no. So, but uh, we did vote. And so we, Barry, the city of Barry has a new mayor. His name is Alex Nuttall. So we will uh, be lifting him up in prayer. And and I think Innisville, uh, they reelected their name, their. Um, oh, is that right? Their mayor. Yes, I believe so. So that's, uh, we need to, to continue to be praying for our uh our government officials and uh, the verse for this week, if you're on the memorizing uh, scripture memory, it is when you have Christ, you are complete. He is the head over all rulers and powers. So, and it doesn't say those who are Christians, it says over all rulers and powers. So that's um, just a reminder to be praying for our, our leaders. And so, yes, as you are all thinking, what did we talk about on Sunday, you're like, oh, but a lot's happened. I know a lot has happened between today and uh, two days ago. So as you are, Donna says, bold humility. Yes, Very good. That is, that is, <laughs> that was the title. <laughs> and it still sticks with me. It still sticks with me. And, and Rob, you gave um, an excellent uh rendition understanding of why bold humility has to work when we go into our community and so um tanya saying that she loved it when you shared your conversation with the guard which is an example of what bold humility looks like and so um a lot of that comes from I want to say your own, our own relationship with, with the Lord, right? And yeah. knowing who we are in Christ. And I shared with you a little bit that I don't think we fully understand the depth of what Christ has given to us. Yeah. And, you know, I, I was thinking about that afterwards. I said, what, did that sound arrogant? And obviously that wasn't the, the intent. It was, you know, there's a approaching that. I remember the feelings I had and there was a stirring of anger and I wanted to flash out at the same time but looking at him and realizing you know I, I see there's there's a need here right there's and the holy spirit's involved i mean that's the that's the going that's the lord with us right and and we find ourselves you know the only possible way we react in a way that's going to be kingdom uh benefiting is, is is when the holy spirit's moving in our hearts and so um 
but yeah, there was an opportunity there, and it could have it could have gone badly. And um, but just just sensing that you know I needed to stay calm, and that's scriptural as well. So our time with the Lord is it, it comes out uh, the most time we spend with Him and, and in His Word and learning. Um, it does come out in those moments. So that's all to His glory, not mine. I just you know those it was a it was a it was all because of Him. So let's just put it there because. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't want to, to, you know, I could see that it could go badly and, and you know, yes. yelling wouldn't have, wouldn't have accomplished anything. It was really interesting finding out later that that's how he got to that position in the first place because he got into an argument with another Christian. Mm. So that was God's grace that it didn't happen again. And uh, I love where it landed. Yeah, we yeah. became friends. Yeah. And that is being sensitive to the Lord. So twice this week, I've had the opportunity of going to Starbucks and waiting in the drive-through. And I'm thinking, what is taking so long? Like, come on, I could have gotten in there faster and I'm, I have things to do. And I am like writhing on the inside. I am so upset that this is taking so long. And I'm watching the guy and I'm hearing him chat with the people as each car goes through. And I'm like, look, we're not here to chat. We're here to get coffee and get on. Like, I was like, so like, I'm, I'm like, this might be his only witness of who Christ is today. Get a hold of yourself and you be nice. You have no idea what's going on in there. You have no idea how many staff they are. Get a hold of yourself. You be nice. You give him a smile and you be nice and cordial. And I, so I had to actually talk myself down off the cliff because I'm like, how, right? How dare you steal my time and be like talking with everybody else? I have things to do. But it was so important to remember that I might be the only Christ they see today, whether he knew I was a Christian or not. I was responsible for my actions towards him. And both times in both Starbucks lineups, two different people took forever. And I'm like, Jennifer, this is, we've been praying for opportunities. And if you can't hold your temper in, in something like this, how are you going to hold your, temp, your temper in something greater? And so I really felt like it was like these little tests that the Lord was giving me to say, can you just be a good witness before you even share the gospel, like, can you be a good witness in your attitude? And I was like, mm. so yeah, I, a couple of times I've had to talk myself just out of the natural response, which is to defend myself rather than saying, no, you have no idea what's going on. Just be calm and let Christ shine through. Yeah. And, and, and really, you know, we should, that, that, that idea to get your conscious of it. I, I really believe that, you know, the more we pray about that and we're aware of it, the, the more that the Holy Spirit is, you know, comes to the forefront in the in the midst, in the middle of those situations. And I, as I said on Sunday, I think, you know, we don't put enough uh, emphasis on the, the importance of our of our witness, no matter where we go. You know, we are. You don't know that you won't run into that that person that you just had a difficult time with, and you didn't respond well. They show up on Sunday at church. And then, you, hey, I remember you. You're one of those, right? I didn't know you were one of those. And, and that, that, that impression stays there. You know, we have an opportunity. You know, we're always, we're always on. What the, Lord, the scripture says, you know, we're ambassadors, right? And our job is 24 7. And uh, so. Yes, yes. Elizabeth said uh, from Sunday's sermon that we have Christ in us to fulfill his commission reconciliation for all and I thought that was so important that um Christ doesn't just send us off okay this is your task and away you go he actually fills us with his holy spirit to go so our job is is in the going and Christ's job is actually he goes before and then he works through us and then he comes after but we are his his vessels and he has equipped us with yeah. everything that we need so and as you said we do not go alone yeah yeah in the scripture in john where the the, the lord says uh, you know those who are mine out of them will flow rivers of living water you know and that that's you know the holy spirit in us flowing out and we're bringing that water that living water is life-giving 
you know, the world is so broken that most people are used to and are expecting those conflicts. So that's what they expect. And when we respond in a way, in a Christ-like manner with kindness and mercy and grace, and the complete opposite of what they're expecting, it is, it startles them. It startles them. I, I, I can remember a time when a lady, I, I got in, <laughs> very quickly, I was in a parking lot. I was using, putting the money into the, the to the meter and uh, my phone rang and I forgot, I got involved in the phone call and I was blocking behind me. Somebody pulled in behind me was wanting to put their money in the meter. You got to get their ticket so they could park. And she came up, she got out of her car to use it and she squeezed away between my car and, and so she put her money in. And then she started screaming at me, right? I, I turned, I said, oh, I'm sorry. She goes, and then she started swearing at me. <laughs> and it was another one of those situations. And, and all I said was, please forgive me. And you could just tell that the whole thing, right? It was just, and I felt the presence of God that just, it just you know, same idea, right? Just the whole situation changed, right? And I, and I said, I, you're right, I'm wrong. Please forgive me. And she goes, okay, then. And she walked away. But she was ready for a fight. She was ready for that to be the same kind of what she put out. She expected it back. And yeah. again, I mean, it's just a, it's a quick moment, but it is, uh, you know, an opportunity, perhaps. You know, you run into that person. You never know. The Lord may bring you in their path again. So, yeah, yeah. Yesterday, um, so I encourage from the Share Faith uh, class to pray nine minutes every day nine minutes or three minutes for yourself lord prepare me to share my faith like whatever it is that might be preventing me maybe my my sucky attitude on sharing my time um but get rid of that stuff clean me up get me ready and then second you know for those people that you're going to engage with today and the third one is for boldness in those opportunities and the words to share and so I had prayed that on my way down to see my mom yesterday morning and uh, her psw came in and and mom would have nothing to do with having a bath yesterday. She was just too tired. And so the PSW came out and she's, and I had gone to get gas at the time. She's like, are you Jennifer? And I said, yes. And I said, did mom have a bath? And she's like, no, she didn't want to have a bath. And you could tell that she was starting to get really defensive because like she was trying to defend why she wasn't. And I said, okay, let me just go check on my mom. And I came back down and I said, I'm so sorry that you had to come all the way out here. And you weren't able to fulfill what you were, were coming for. And, and you could see like, yeah, right. As soon as we take the humble side, right. Where we say, I'm so sorry. And what's interesting is we sat down and she, we started chatting about stuff and, and she started sharing about her dad and she went on about how he, you know, has since died. And you could tell the, the depth of loss in her own heart. And she's like, Oh, I'm so sorry. And I said, I'm a pastor. I hear lots of things. And you could, once again, she just stepped down a little bit more and you could see her totally relax. And I was like, Lord, what could have been so confrontational yeah. when we actually say, I'm sorry, or whatever it is to diffuse the situation that really does create a way for the Holy Spirit to come in and just do amazing things. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, Fred is saying one day he asked the Lord to calm down his temper in about three weeks that he couldn't get angry anymore. And he was looking forward to going to church. And it's true, right? Lord, this is how I'm feeling about things. I need you to take it and then help me to walk out, you know, walk out in what you would have for me. Yeah. So, um, well, there's that, that call to die to self, right? And we're, we're called into that. And if we're really dying to ourselves, you know, we're not, we, we don't need to defend ourselves. You know, our value is, is in the Lord, not what, what the world is saying to us or the circumstance that we're in. And our heart should be for the people that we're confronting, that we're engaged with at the moment and their, their eternal destiny. And so we, may, we, we have an opportunity to be used by the Lord and it just may be a seed and then he'll bring another Christian in their life. And it's a process. And I remember my, my walk coming to the Lord, there were several people that spoke into my life over a period of about 10 years. Right. You know, so. All right. 10 yeah. years. Yeah. Um, Donna says, peace jo just walks right in, right? When we, yeah. when we seek to diffuse a situation, even though everything within us is like, <laughs> like, right. We want, we want to step in and defend ourselves in that moment. We have to remember God, you're my defender. 
help me to be an example of you today. And as Donna said, then peace walks right in. And so we have got to open the door for peace to come in, right? And that's just like, I am choosing not to give into my temper. I'm choosing not to claim my rights. Mm -hmm. And I boldly will claim you as king and I will bow my knee and Lord, you come. Yeah. It's, yes. I know it's, it's a good way to start off today, right? Because we don't know who we're going to meet today. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah. And then you walk and you move, you move on, you leave that conversation and you get on with your day, but pray for them when you leave, you know, I, 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 you know just bring that person up to the Lord, lift them up. You know, yeah. the Lord knows what just took place and that if you have another opportunity to speak to them, fantastic. Or the Lord would bring, you know, someone else, another Christian in their past and yeah. continue on. Yeah. And it, and it really is a lot easier to, you know, we, we maintain our peace, right? And we don't have to get worked up and, you know, we just rest in the Lord. That's the, that's the reality of it. You know, we're called into that and it's, it's, it's better for us as well. Yeah. Yes, uh, Kathleen just said it's much easier to be kind than to have to apologize. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, that's so true. All right, Rob, would you pray for us this morning yeah. and just usher us into the day? Well, Father, Heavenly Father, we are so thankful for who you are. Lord, hallowed be your name. Mm -hmm. And may we remember, Lord who we are in you. I pray that each one's gathered here this morning and the entire congregation, Lord, we would be found faithful in this, that it is your, the calling that you placed upon us. And Lord, even as today, as we go, I pray for divine appointments for each of us, an opportunity, Lord, to, to show and to share the reality of who you are in our lives, that you might use this, Lord, in the, in the lives of the people we meet, that we would be that light that you call us to be in this dark world. And the world is so desperately in need to see the truth. And the contrast, Lord, of, of the truth of who you are, and the contrast of the lives that they live without you. And so, Lord, would you bless us, prepare our hearts, mm -hmm. Lord, that we would be bold to enter into this ministry, that we'd be humble. As we approach those, Lord, who don't know you, and we would die to self, and that you would shine, Lord, through us, and we pray, Father, your blessing. <clears throat> I pray your blessing upon the congregation. And yes, there will be great joy. And I look forward, Lord, we look forward to hearing the stories, the encouragement of what takes place, the excitement of watching you go with us and before us. We thank you. We love you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 <laughs> It is, it is so much easier to be kind than to have to apologize. Uh, but in those moments, in those moments, we need to just, okay, Lord, help me, help me. So, all right, my dear friends, that's it. That's all. Remember to like, share, go outside and help your community experience Christ. Rob, thank you for joining us this morning. Oh, my pleasure. And we'll see you all later. Bye. Bye.